Do I need title insurance? How much is title insurance? Who pays for title insurance? If you want to get the answers to these questions, then stick around. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. Every week I post videos about what it's like to live and work here and guidance on buying, selling, and investing in the area. On this week's video, I have a special guest with me, Nicole Murray Cohen from Elite Team Title, and she's here to answer all your questions about title insurance in New Jersey. Hi, Nicole. Thanks so much for joining me. No problem. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us a little bit behind Elite Team Title and the company you work for. So Elite Team Title is really part of Foundation Title. Uh, Keller Williams Elite partnered up with Foundation, created Elite Team Title. Foundation is the largest title agency in New Jersey, so I like to tell people there's nothing we haven't seen. We're going to uncover every skeleton in the closet and it's not going to surprise us. So. so we're here to talk about title insurance. I get a lot of questions from my clients. What is title insurance? How much does it cost? Do I really need it? So that's really what we're here to talk about today. Okay. So what is title insurance? Title insurance, I like to explain. Car insurance, home insurance insures you if a tree falls in your car or your house next week and insures into the future. Title insurance insures backwards in time. So we're going to make sure that the house that you're buying, you're not getting stuck with Joe Schmo's lien for um, God, or ta federal tax lien or his Ace Atlantic City gambling debt, things mm. like that. Okay. <laughs> um, so you don't want to be buying the home and all the problems that come with it. That's why you do an inspection to ensure that the structural, you know, the structure of the home is good. Title insurance makes sure that the title integrity is there as well. Okay. So we insure backwards. Backwards. Got it. Okay. So a lot of my clients, one of the questions I get asked throughout the process is, do I need title insurance? It's a good question. If you look at your closing disclosure form, which I wholeheartedly disagree with, it says that an owner's title policy is optional. Why are you going to pay for an, um, a lender's policy that protects your lender, not you as the owner? So the difference is you need a lender's policy if you have a mortgage on the property and an owner's policy protects you. Good luck finding an attorney in New Jersey who's going to let you buy a home without an owner's policy because we believe so much in our product because it protects you for the entire time you own that property. Even if you refi in five years, you don't need a new owner's policy because until you sell that property, you have that owner's policy that you can whip out and say, no, 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 I have owned this home free and clear. So if someone comes to you and says, my great aunt Hilda owned this home and you know it wasn't probated properly in the estate. Um, that's when you kind of pull out that title insurance, which should be kept in a fireproof safe with your deed and all your other important documents. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you can say, nope, I need to call Elite Team Title and figure out what this was. So it's not required, but it, it's definitely strongly recommended. Correct. If you have a mortgage on the property, you have to get a lender's policy, mm -hmm. but your owner's policy is technically optional. I like to say that most people don't know what it is and will never use it, but the people who do need it are really thankful that they have it. Sounds like most insurances. Yes. <laughs> so how much is title insurance? It varies. If you buy a $500,000 property, you're looking at somewhere around, this is not an official estimate, like $3,400, but if you're buying a $250,000 property, mm -hmm. you'll probably end up paying around $2,300. So the more you pay, the more insurance you need on that because the risk is higher. So it's just mm -hmm. like driving a Mercedes versus a Mazda. You know, the person in the S class is gonna be paying way more than me and my little Mazda <laughs> SUV. So it's just all about the coverage there. There's no flat fee. It is all state regulated. I cannot emphasize that enough. So if you shop around to six different title companies, we should really all be within a very, uh, you know, small amount difference. Um, some people include recording fees, some people don't. It's really not a title charge. That's, you know, what we're paying to record your mortgage and your deed. Um, but your policy should all be the same. Jersey tells us what to charge and what we can charge. And mm -hmm. that is what is on our um, title invoice. So no matter who they pick, like you said, it should all be around the same price. Correct. Do your research. You are mm -hmm. paying for it. You as the buyer are paying for it. In some other states, um, the seller pays for it. In New Jersey, the buyer pays for it. So mm -hmm. do your due diligence. Um, make sure that who you are working with is going to be there in 10, 15 years if, God mm -hmm. forbid, there's a problem. So mm -hmm. when you pull out that title policy, you're not calling a number that's been disconnected by Verizon. So Yeah, I mean, that makes a good point because what if you do get title insurance through a company that is no longer in business? You have to chase down the underwriter, and the underwriter has to try and chase down that policy. Mm -hmm. So during the boom, when everybody and their mother got into title insurance and everybody was suddenly a real and a lender and then you know everything went to you know what those people who are now selling their properties some of them are having a hard time tracking out um, their owner's policy mm -hmm. and their title issues mm -hmm. some people um, got policies that are basically useless because there are things that have been um, 
you know, excluded from their, their policy. So the issue is still there when they go to sell the property. Yep. That's interesting. That's something you didn't really think about. Mm -hmm. Who pays for title insurance in the transaction? The buyer. The buyer pays for all of it. Mm -hmm. So um, your settlement fee, which the things kind of changed a couple of years ago across the board. There's something called TRID that is in effect. So now the title insurance company, we facilitate, we, I like to say we're the puppeteers of the transaction. So mm -hmm. it used to be that the attorneys here in North Jersey really coordinated the transaction. Now it's a title company. Mm -hmm. So we are the ones who are, all the money is going through our trust account. We are mm -hmm. organizing the transaction. We are working with the lender. So you have your settlement fee, um, which is 525. It's lower sometimes on a cash transaction and then your policy and any endorsements that your lender needs, things like that. So, but the buyer pays for all of that. So does, is there any title cost to the seller at closing at all no. here in New Jersey? Nope. There's nothing. No. It's all on the buyer. Mm -hmm. And that makes sense because the buyer is the one taking ownership of the property. So let's say in 10, 15, 50 years, 100 years down the road, if there is any issues, it is their property. So it would become their issue. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yep. Yeah. And personally, I feel like if your if it's your policy that protects you, you should want to know who that company is mm -hmm. and where your money is going. Yeah. So Nicole, you've actually given us a link, and I'll put that link in the description box below. But it's to a title cost calculator for here in New Jersey, right? Correct. So it'll link you up to EliteTeamTitle.com. You go to the calculator, and um, it's not just the policy premium that we're giving you. We're trying to give you a good estimate of what your title costs are going to be because mm -hmm. that's great that your policy is, you know. 1800 but then there's a settlement fee, there's an exam fee, there's things that go into it other than that. So we're trying to give you a much better, more well-rounded number of what that's going to be because your lender's also going to need that to do your preliminary dis uh, closing disclosure form, things like that. Mm -hmm. And all of this gets paid at closing, correct? It sure does. Yep. It's all part of the closing costs associated with closing on the transaction. Yes, you'll see on your closing disclosure form, um, years ago it used to just be lumped in all one number and mm -hmm. now on the new closing disclosure form they break it down every rate. You're going to see mm -hmm. every $25 endorsement, that settlement fee, that um, exam fee, mm -hmm. all broken down, your policy premium for your lender's policy, your policy, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And any questions on that, your buyers can feel free to reach out to me because I was a first time home buyer once and I remember that feeling of, <laughs> oh my God, what are all these numbers? My husband's just like, this is your job. <laughs> you <laughs> figure it out. You figure it out. <laughs> I also have um, all of Nicole's contact information below. If you have any questions about New Jersey title insurance or the process or anything like that, feel free to reach out to her. So do you have any stories about anybody you've known or any potential clients that did not get title insurance and something was discovered and they really should have? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Great judgments. Just, I tell people, don't try and cover anything up. Mm. When you no. buy a house, we are going to find every skeleton in your closet. I have an attorney friend who has an attorney friend who's at a closing and will have um, judgment searches for the buyers. Mm -hmm. So you need to just sign off, not me, not me, not me. So she's going through everything and it's a husband and wife buying a property and she said, and you know, I don't remember, I don't know the guy's name. Joe, just sign off that this child support judgment isn't yours. And he hesitates. Oh and no. And his <laughs> wife is like, Joe, can you just sign off on this? And he puts his pen down and he goes, honey, I need to talk to you out in the hallway. It oh, was no. his child support judgment. Um, I, don't, I was not at the closing. I don't know if she was aware that he had children or if it was just the child support judgment that came as a <laughs> surprise. But I tell people all the time, gonna find out anyway mm -hmm. if you try to sell a house and you are married and you are trying to sell this house without your soon-to-be ex-wife approval we're mm -hmm. gonna find out and you can't do that um, if your house is in foreclosure and you are trying to sell it and not tell anyone mm -hmm. we're gonna find out that your house is in foreclosure mm -hmm. so don't waste your time and everybody else's time be honest upfront about what the situation is mm -hmm. we see a lot of fun surprises on estates People and their siblings think that, oh yes, selling mom and dad's house, we're gonna be rolling in it by the time closing's done. And then they find out that, you know, seven years ago their parents took out an exorbitant, you know, home equity line of credit that they need to be paid off at closing. Mm -hmm. Oh, we didn't know that. Well, now that is more in regards to the title search, right? Mm -hmm. So how does that relate to the title insurance? Would that um would there be any protections against stuff like that? So our job is to find those HELOCs, to find those open mortgages, and make sure that they get paid off prior to closing. Because mm -hmm. when you go to sell a house, all that needs to be taken care of before or at closing so that the mm -hmm. buyers are not buying your, the seller's problems. So you had said something earlier. We were talking about the property surveys, and I have a whole video about property surveys. I'll link it um, in, above and in the description box below. But talk to me a little bit about um, how title insurance 
and title and then getting a survey or not getting a survey kind of how that works hand in hand if you just if you don't get title insurance and then you discover an issue um, on the survey down the road like how does that correlate so if you don't get title insurance you're not covered for anything as far as how we work hand in hand with the surveyors um, if you don't have a survey, we cannot cover any survey issues that come up. It's as simple as that. Okay. If we do get a survey, then you know it's up to us to be making sure that it is correct, there are no encroachments, things like that. Getting a survey is super, super important. I always tell people that there are certain costs throughout buying a home that not only are, in my opinion, necessary, but they're really built to protect you. I mean, this is the biggest investment you're going to make in your life, and you're spending, you know, hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, a couple million dollars, you know, spending five hundred for a survey or whatever, you know, a couple thousand dollars in your title insurance. Really, in the end, is a drop in the bucket compared to what you're paying for the actual home itself. So you want to protect that huge, huge investment mm -hmm. that you're making. So title insurance, I think, hands down, shouldn't even be a question on whether or not you get it, mm -hmm. even if you're not getting a lender. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with that. It's there to protect you. Yep, and it's an asset when you go to sell the property too. People, mm -hmm. you know, we might end up, if you're selling a property, do you have your owner's title, owner's title policy? This popped up, but if it's clean on your policy, then mm -hmm. we can just omit it. So just background on foundation. Uh, we opened in 2005. I was not working there in 2005. I was studying for my <laughs> she driver's was just test. Born. No, I'm just <laughs> um, so we opened right before the recession, and we survived. And we have a dozen offices in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. We cover Pennsylvania and New York. So we're growing. We're not slowing. Um, mm -hmm. We'll be here mm -hmm. now or in the future if you mm -hmm. if you need help with an existing policy or anything like that. Thank you so much, Nicole, for going over all the in and outs of title insurance. I know that I learned something new today, and I just want to thank you so much for taking your time to talk to all my viewers out there. No problem. I know it's not the sexiest part of buying a house, but it is important. If you have any title insurance related questions, I have Nicole's contact information below. Feel free to reach out to her as well as my contact information, and we have the link to your title cost calculator where you can go on and do some quick calculations sure. to figure out kind of an estimate of what your title costs might be. I'll see you on the next one. You ready? Yep. <laughs> Start. I'll just look over here then. It wasn't recording. Okay. Don't look surprised. Okay. <laughs>